now i will go ahead and take question number 10 of 2023 paper right intermediate mme let us start with the question it says consider the function you are given this function it says find all critical points of the function classify them using second uh, derivative test show that f neither has a global maxima nor global minima you are given a set s which where x is between 0 5 and y is between 0 4 Proof F has global maxima or minima points in S and find them. Okay, let's start. So what I will go ahead and do is my function given to me is x e to the power minus x y square minus 4y. So what we can do is we can find out the derivative with respect to x. So I will use product rule here. Where did it go? Just one second later. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and use product rule here. So differentiation of first function into second as it is plus first function as it is differentiation of the second function into this is just a constant y square minus 4y. Right. So I will go ahead and get e to the power minus x minus x e to the power minus x into y square minus 4y. Is this clear? Okay. Now what I can go ahead and I can do is I can differentiate this function with respect to y. So when I will be differentiating this function with respect to y, x e to the power minus x is just constant. Differentiation of y square is 2y and 4y is 4. Right now, for maxima and minima, I need to equate both of them to zero. Now, just notice that e to the power minus x is one by e to the power x. That cannot be zero. So from here, I will get that either x is zero or y is two. From here, I will get either x is zero or y is two. And from here, beta, I will go ahead and get if I will just equate this to zero that either e to the power minus x minus x e to the power minus x is 0, which means x is 1. If I take e to the power minus x common, I will get 1 minus x. x is 1. Or I will get y square is equal to 4y. So either y is 0 or y is plus minus or y is 4. Or y is are you getting it? This can be written as y, y minus 4 equal to 0. So either y is 0 or y is 4. Right? Is this making sense? So these are the points that you have got. So now I need to go ahead and I need to combine these points together. So with x as 1, I will get y as 2. This will be one combination that can be created. Then with x as 0, I can get y as 0. And with x as 0, I can get y as 4. So I will go ahead and I will get these three critical points from my case. x0, y0, x1, y2, x0, y4. I have got these three points. Now what I can go ahead and do is I can just double differentiate this function. So if I just go ahead and find f double dash x beta, what will happen? Again, I will start differentiation of the first function e to the power minus x into minus 1. Minus, I will start using the product rule here. So differentiation of first function into second as it is plus first function as it is into differentiation of the second function whole with y square minus 4y. Please open this very, very, very carefully. So I will go ahead and get minus e to the power minus x minus e to the power minus x plus x e to the power minus x into y square minus 4y. So I will go ahead and get minus 2 e to the power minus x plus x e to the power minus x into y square minus 4y. And I will go ahead and call this value as my a. Now I will differentiate 
differentiate this with respect to y beta. So I will get f double dash x y. So e to the power minus x minus x e to the power minus x into 2y minus 4. I will call this as d beta. So I have got my a and b. Now I will differentiate this with respect to y. So I will get f double dash y y. So this will remain as it is and this will give me 2. I will call this as c beta. So I have got my a, b and c. I am going to just make a note of all these three. So my a that I have got, let us just write this here. It is y square minus 4y into 2 into minus 2e to the power minus x plus x e to the power minus x. Right? Let's look at m double dash xy which is my going to be b beta. So my b is 2y minus 4 into e to the power minus x minus x e to the power minus x. And my c will be 2e to the power minus x into x. Now I'm going to evaluate A, B and C at three points. What are the three points that I had got? 1, 2, 0, 0 and 0, 4. 1, 2, 0, 0 and 0, 4. Right? Is this making sense, Peta? So let us start evaluating the first one, A. So, so my uh, Y is 2. So 2 squared is 4. Minus Y is 2. So this is 8 minus 2. So my x is 1. So minus 1 plus x is 1 e to the power minus 1. Right? So this is going to give me minus 4 into minus e to the power minus 1. So this will be 4 e to the power minus 1. So this will be 4 by e. Right? This is going to be 4 by e which is positive beta. At 0, 0, because y is 0, it will simply become 0. At 0, 4, so put y as 4. So when you will be putting y as 4, y square minus 4y will simply give you 0, right? 16 minus 16, so that will be 0. So I can simply go ahead and get here also 0, right? Now come to the part b beta. So in part B, you have your uh, y as 1, right? So you will get 2 into 1 minus 4 into e to the power minus 2 minus, sorry, e to the power minus 1 minus 1 into e to the power minus 1. So this will become e to the power minus 1 minus e to the power minus 1, which means 0 beta. So this will give you the point as 0, right? Then the second point will be 2 into 0 minus 4 and this will be e to the power minus 0 minus 0 into e to the power minus 0. Right? So this will give you anything to the, so 1 by e to the power 0, this is 1 and this is minus 4. So this will give you the answer as minus 4. Beta. Check for the third one. Here x is 0 but y is 4. So you will get 2 into 4 minus 4 and e to the power minus 0 minus 0 e to the power minus 0. So 8 minus 4, 4 into 1 minus 0. So this will be 4 beta. Hmm? Check C now. So 2 to the power, 2 into e to the power minus 1 into 1. So this will be 2 into e to the power minus 1. Second will be 0 and third will also be 0. So we have been able to go ahead and get our A, B, C's for all these three points. Now we need to go ahead and evaluate that. So A is either 0 or A is positive, right? Let us try to evaluate what happens to your um, A square, uh, to your AC minus B square. Just one second, okay?
Okay, so AC minus B square beta. So this is going to be 8 by E square. This is going to be 4. This is going to be minus 4. Right? So 8 by E square is positive. So in this case, we see that A is positive and AC minus B square is positive. So minima. Here, AC minus B square that you are getting, this is giving you negative. Minus 4, negative. So, if it is negative and your A is 0, so this is a saddle point. This beta, this is giving you the answer as 4. Right? So, this is giving you the answer as 4. So, if you realize... Sorry, I have written it 4 itself. I should be writing 16. Right? AC minus B square. So, minus 4 cos square is 16 and 4 cos square also is 16. So, again, this is giving me negative and here I have 0. So, this will be my saddle point. Right? So, we have been able to go ahead and we have been able to check all the points, whether they are saddle points or not. Okay. We have been able to do part A. Now, look at part B. Show that F has neither a global maxima or global minima. Okay. Now, try to understand this thing. See, See, for global maxima or minima, that should be the maximum value attained even when your x tends to infinity, right? So, now what we can go ahead and we can do now in this case, we can check the limits what happens when x tends to infinity or x tends to minus infinity. We are able to go ahead and prove that as my x tends towards minus infinity, my value goes towards infinity. The function goes towards infinity. So, if my function is going towards infinity, it means that there is no highest value possible. It's just extending, extending, extending. Right? So, what we can go ahead and do in this case, I will just check limit x tends to minus infinity, functional value at x comma 1. And I will find out that this will be limit x tends to minus infinity minus 3x e to the power minus x which will be infinite. So since this is going towards infinity, therefore we can go ahead and say that there is no global maxima or minima. Similarly, what you can do is you can go ahead and check y tends to infinity f of minus 1y and this is going to be limit y tends to infinity minus e y square minus 4y and this will be minus e limit y tends to infinity uh, y square will be taken common 1 minus 4 by y. I will take y common. I'll take y square only common. O by y. This is making sense, right? So now if I just go ahead and check what happens at infinity, you will realize that uh, this is going to go ahead and tend towards minus infinity. Because this part will give you infinity. Infinity into anything negative will give you minus infinity. So we are going towards the minimum value which is minus infinity. So the function ka jo minimum value hai, that is very 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 large number with a negative sign. Is the minimum hai. Function ka highest value is plus infinity. So since we are not able to reach any number here, there is no global maxima or global minima in this case. No global maxima or minima in this case. Right. Now, the last part goes ahead and says that you are given that x is between 0 to 5 and y is between 0 to 4. Prove that f has a minima and maximum point in S and find them. 
तो नाउ बेटा वी हैव इन इन माय सेट तो अब मेरे को क्या कर दिया गया है ना कि आई हैव बीन गिवन सम इंटरवल्स अब हमारे इंटरवल डिफाइन हो गए हैं दैट एक्स इज बिटवीन जीरो टू फाइव एंड वाई इज बिटवीन जीरो टू फोर तो इफ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू गोइड इन प्लॉट दिस दिस विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस वाई फोर एक्स फाइव ये मेरा रीजन है आई नीड टू चेक इन दिस रीजन और मेरे जितने भी पॉइंट्स थे जो क्रिटिकल पॉइंट्स आए थे वो भी तो यही कहीं थे वी हैड अ क्रिटिकल पॉइंट विच वॉज दिस जीरो कॉमा जीरो ये मेरा एक क्रिटिकल पॉइंट था जीरो कॉमा जीरो देन द अदर क्रिटिकल पॉइंट आई हैड वॉज वन कॉमा टू and the other critical point I had was जीरो कॉमा फोर राइट तो ये वाले क्रिटिकल पॉइंट तो मेरे पास है ही है आई ऑलरेडी हैव दीज क्रिटिकल पॉइंट द मैक्सिम दैट आई नीड टू गो हेड जीरो कॉमा फोर हेयर हो गई ना दिस पॉइंट जीरो कॉमा फोर ये वाले पॉइंट तो है ही नाउ वॉट आई नीड टू गो हेड एंड आई नीड टू इवेल्यूएट इज दिस पॉइंट बेटा विच इज फाइव कॉमा फोर and this point beta which is going to be 5 comma 0 ye mere additional points aa jate hain 5 comma 4 and 5 comma 0 which i need to go ahead and i need to evaluate right and you will be able to prove that within these points you will be able to you will you know you will be able to see a maxima and you will be able to see a minima ठीक है जी सो देर फोर यहां पर हमने वन कॉमा टू पे फंक्शन का वैल्यू ऑलरेडी हम चेक कर सकते हैं है ना वी कैन सो वॉट यू नीड टू गो एड एंड डू इज यू जस्ट नीड टू चेक द वैल्यूज ऑफ द फंक्शन आपने फंक्शन का वैल्यू जीरो कॉमा जीरो पे ये तो हमने प्रूव कर दिया था दैट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एट जीरो कॉमा जीरो एंड जीरो कॉमा फोर ये सैडल पॉइंट है तो आउट ऑफ ऑल अभी जो हमारे पास पॉइंट आया है वो वन कॉमर टू आया है जहां पे हमारा फंक्शन का वैल्यू हम चेक कर लेते हैं सो आई विल गो हेड एंड आई विल चेक द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एट वन कॉमर टू तो हमारा जो भी फंक्शन था व्हाट वाज़ द फंक्शन गिवन टू अस ये रहा है ना दिस वॉज द फंक्शन तो इसी फंक्शन का वैल्यू आई विल गो हेड एंड चेक एट वन कॉमर टू So this will be one e to the power minus one two whole square is four minus eight. This is going to be minus four e to the power minus one minus four by e. Now I will check it at remaining points. And what are my remaining points, bache? My remaining points are zero comma five. A k point, bache? Uh, sorry, five comma zero. And value of the function at five comma four. Because the rest are saddle points. Hai. So at five comma zero, I will get. 5 e to the power minus 5 0 minus 0 so this will be 0 and at 5 comma 4 i will get 5 e to the power minus 5 4 whole square is 16 minus 16 that means 0 so you realize that now here i am getting the value of the function and the value of the function at 5 comma 4 is also giving me Zero and five comma zero is also giving me zero, and यहाँ पे I am getting the value of the function as minus four by e. So I can go ahead and say that this is the minimum value of the function possible, and in this space this is the maximum value of the function possible, and that would give you the answer to this question.